Are you a good one? Hey, it's watermelon season. Hi, it's John Steffi for ProduceGeek.com. And one of the things I really get excited about in late April and through May is spring crop Florida watermelons. And so how do you pick a good one? I, you know what? It's easier to avoid a bad one to pick a good one. That is the tough thing because really at the end of the day, you are counting on the harvester to pick the watermelon at the right time and the everyone in the supply chain to be inspecting these watermelons to make sure they're good, kept at the right conditions. Because no matter how much you tap and do all these other things, it's really hard to predict exactly what's inside. But here's how you avoid a bad watermelon. The watermelon should be firm. You should not feel spongy. That's a sign of an overripe or a, a watermelon that's been kept at the wrong temperature. They are best at room temperature for storage. The next thing I look for is I'm looking for a creamy yellow spot where it sat on the ground and ripened. In fact, I kind of want it more yellow than this. So this one, I'm, I'm a little skeptical on. Uh, I do like how firm it is and I do tap. Uh, and that's, this one has a decent knock. I want to avoid a thud. Just because it has a good knock and it's firm and uh, creamy yellow spot doesn't mean it's going to be perfect, but let's see how this one is. Oh, by the way, a big, sturdy, sharp knife is super important for cutting watermelon. And what I want to show you now is one of my favorite methods to cut watermelon for my family and myself to enjoy very quickly uh, because of how easy it is to eat. So I've got my sharp knife, I've got a big cutting board, and here we go. I'm going to cut the watermelon in half with some leverage. All right. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Oh, I love that smell of a spring crop uh, Florida watermelon. Excellent. So now to get watermelon sticks, I'm going to cut off the sides. And normally I would, at home, peel that flesh off, put that in a bowl. But for now, I'm going to set these aside. So I'm cutting off the sides to make a square. So now I've got a square area. These I would set aside and cut off the flesh and put that into a bowl for eating separately. But for my purposes here, what I want to do is cut these into slabs. I'm going to lay those over and then cut those into sticks. So here we go. All right, so now I've got these slabs of watermelon, right? Stack them back up. And cut them now into sticks. Or what my kids still call watermelon fries, right? Who doesn't love fries? And now we're left with these perfect, easy to eat watermelon sticks. Hmm. Crisp, juicy, sweet, not oversweet, just the kind of thing you can keep eating. Mm. I love watermelon season. So I would take all these, put them into my bowl, fill that up, and we're ready to serve. For more tips and for what's in season, check out Produce Geek social media. And stay tuned for another video. Share this with your friends and let's enjoy some fresh produce, everybody.